Alright, so in this video we're going to be talking about Android Studio's plugin for Genemotion. And this one will be a rather short video. So all you gotta do is start up Android Studio. I have a little button there to start it up. Otherwise you can just in Windows, you know, find it, start it up. And then we'll wait for this guy to load up. So what the Genemotion plugin is, it's a quick install to allow for uh, development inside of Android Studio. Just click the little icon. Once we get to it, I'll demonstrate it. And then it starts up Genemotion essentially, and you're able to decide what virtual machine or what emulator you want to choose from. You start that guy up, and once the emulator is chosen, then you are able to run it as if it's like a hardwired phone into your laptop, PC, whichever, whichever you use to develop. And from there, you're able to use that device and run different kind of apps up on it. So when it loads up, there should be an app that, you know, just a basic tutorial example that I already have running. And we'll run that once we load it up. I'm not sure which one I was doing. Okay, GPS example. That's probably a good one. Great example. So that way, when we run it, you guys can kind of see that it's really, you know, working and it emulates everything that a phone does. And even more than, say, for example, um, uh, Eclipse eclipses uh emulator even android studios because again genemotion allows for uh gps cap gps capability uh flashlight capability camera capability and some others there's a, quite a few capabilities that genemotion gives you that um a regular emulator via eclipse or android studio doesn't come included with also genemotion has extra features you can install that um, you could buy but I've never purchased it so I don't know what the difference between the free version and the paid version is but I do know that there is a significant difference so if you are looking to develop a rather larger app or you know you have a kind of minor app, app already created and you're looking to you know go a step further I honestly would recommend purchasing Genomotion but this thing is taking quite the time for me to load up. Man. <laughs> Usually it doesn't take this long. Almost there. Alright, I think... I think we've done it. Have we done it? Yes, we have. Okay, good. Alrighty. Again, just gotta wait a second for this to go through. So, I already have the plugin installed for... Android Studio. So there you go, Genemotion Device Manager right at the top. So we can click that. I'll just show this as it is right now. In the last video, if you haven't checked out the last video already and don't have Genemotion installed, please go back and check that video out. Um, so now you get to see there's two different kind of devices. From the last video, we made the Nexus 7, or I can't remember now. It was either the Nexus 5 or 7. But anyway, one wasn't there before. So now you can do Start. We'll just do start for uh, example's sake. So now you can see Genemotion, the application itself, is starting the virtual device up. So this guy right here is my little Genemotion thing that gives you that nice little uh, application we saw in the last video. So that doesn't actually get opened, which is great because we don't want that opened while we're developing. The less resources, the better. Uh, so while that's loading up, uh, we can X out of this now. And now... This will be here. I would normally wait a second for this to... Okay, whatever. It's doing its thing now. Um, so now that it's past the loading stage, you can hit uh, start. And again, this this purpose right here is just showing you a quick overview um, of what the end result will be once we have the plugin installed and everything. And again, for my computer at least, Android Studio can take quite a bit of time for things to get going and running but my fault also might be I have quite a few programs open already plus a browser window alright so this thing finally loaded up um, so now you can see you can choose a running device so it's treating Genemotion I don't know how many of you guys have plugged in your phone and debugged on your phone but if you do do that uh, you'll also see it's very similar to this. Um, otherwise, in most conventional ways, you do a launch emulator and you have you know, a, a virtual device already created. But 
we'll do this one. So now we'll do OK. And now that will launch in this. There we go. And it takes no time at all. Like you guys just saw, boom, just like that. Super quick, super fluid, and extremely helpful. And then while in here now, you know, you see the normal map. Again, this is just an example application that I'd made um, for a video series. So, you know, you get normal map, satellite map. You're able to do that. Zoom out, zoom in, you know, all those functions. And again, just to demonstrate, you know, you can see the battery life on charge level. An example of is it's acting as this is a 100% charged phone. Um, you could also do just charging. So this way, again, this is an extremely helpful tool if you're developing a real world app, you know, depending on if you have a half battery, full battery, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you'll depend stuff on that. And then GPS, you can turn this on and tell its location. And then for apps such as these, where you have a GPS thing, it then could determine where you are. Um, you could just, you know, figure out the latitude, longitude, altitude, blah, blah, blah. Put that all in there, and then once you run a GPS kind of um, application, it will find where you where you uh, typed in. Or you could even do map, for example. Puts you, I think, in like Iceland. Yeah, for whatever reason, it, it defaults to Iceland. So then, in a case such as this, then I could change it to, oh, I don't know, um, Minneapolis. I want to say... I don't know if those actually, I'm pretty sure those changed. I don't know if those values changed. When I go back and look at the video, I'll definitely know. But i um, pretty sure that they've now changed. So now I'm in the heart of Minneapolis or whatever. And then again, if this app actually tracked where my location is based on the device, then it would put me in the heart of Minneapolis, which is fantastic. Um, and then lastly, there's a camera feature on here too. So you could turn this on. So you could have a front camera, dummy webcam, or a back camera, and then you have a preview which is great front back none and really the camera uh, the way this functions you really want a webcam because if you have a webcam then it treats the webcam on your PC or laptop as the camera for the if you have an Android phone it treats us treats it like that obviously the flashlight capabilities and whatnot of an Android device uh, camera won't come with your webcam or at least in most cases it won't unless your webcam does have a flash I don't really know many that do, but I suppose it's possible. I'll turn that off though. And then there's, you know, there's extra features here: capture, um, identifiers, network, phone. All those will be in the paid version. Again, I don't pay for this, uh, but again, for people that are really looking into this and want to pay for it, it is a great investment. It really is because this is the best um, emulator you could get. But uh, but that's gonna wrap it up for Gen Motion. Oh, what am I talking about? Let's click that. Yeah, it's not going to wrap it up. Here I am talking about wrapping up. We haven't even gotten to uh, gotten to uh, setting this up. So taking lots of steps back here. Um, so for those that don't have this installed yet, uh, you go. I'll just do this real quick again. So file settings, and then normally you go on appearance. You'll click plugins. Then from plugins, you click this middle button here, browse repositories. The easiest way to find it is just type in the little search box there. Just type e, type in G E N Y or Genomotion, and then you'll find this. And then on here, it's initially going to have a button right under the Genomotion where it says install. And then you'll end up clicking the install button. And real quick, I'm going to un uninstall Genomotion and run through it with you guys. All right, so I have that in uninstalled now, and now it's acting as if I don't have it. So here's this green button I was talking about right under Genomotion. So once you click it, would you like to download and install plugin? Yes, and it'll do its thing. So now you'll get the button that says Restart Android Studio. You click that button, and now it takes you back to this page. You just hit Apply, Restart Android Changes, Restart, and then it'll Restart Android Studio and launch it back up. And then again, once it launches, it's just going to give you the plugin that I had just previously demonstrated. So Android Studio will load up its files. Let's close this out. 
So now again, and that's all it takes to get the Genomotion Device Manager plugin. It's very, very simple, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.